What's up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dragon Ball Super Superhero Beast Gohan from SH Figuarts. This was a P Bandai exclusive, so if you didn't grab it from P Bandai, pre-order it a couple months ago, you might have a hard time finding it. I think some uh, other retailers like Big Bad Toy Store and some other places uh, might have some stock available. Sometimes they grab uh, some of the exclusives up and sell them afterwards. Otherwise, uh, if you do want this guy, you might have to buy him secondhand. Uh, I would do that sooner rather than later because um, the aftermarket is kind of unkind sometimes. <laughs> Let's get right into it with the appearance of this guy. Uh, in my opinion, he has a lot of features that I think the SH Figure Arts line should really continue focusing on in the future, kind of abandon some of their old ways of doing things and really focus on new things that they've done with this figure because I am really, really enjoying some of the new stuff on this guy. What stands out the most to me on this guy uh, he does have a little bit of paint on him, uh, mostly some like highlighting around the edges of his key, um, but nothing like too crazy. Uh, a little bit of paint detail on the legs, um, and that's kind of like one of my gripes. I really don't like when they do like uh, a flesh colored gi, and then or like a like a purple or a blue gi, and then they do like flesh colored paint on top of it. Um, so like it's not too bad on the legs, but that's how they used to do the chests, and that's one thing that I do want to bring up here. I love absolutely love how they're doing this chest on this guy right here. Uh, so we've got the actual flesh colored plastic with a very soft rubbery gi on top. And that allows us to have holes in the fabric that actually look like fabric holes. Uh, and they've also used soft plastic for the sleeves here, which are separate. You can see there's a little bit of a separation and that really helps with the articulation as well. Uh, one of the solutions that they had in the past was to like peg the sleeves in separately um, on the back of the arms, and it kind of worked. Actually, I, I do have an example of that right here. Um, they would peg them like extra pieces on the back of the arms, and it works, but man, sometimes you get some like really ugly stuff like this, where you have like a butterfly joint, and it's like it would come out, and you'd be like, ooh, how do I even cover that? Uh, don't have to worry about that here. And, uh, I mean, he's still got the butterfly joint. It's not as egregious as Piccolo's, but he's still got that ability to, like, flex it in and out. And that because it's the soft plastic, it acts just more like fabric in this case, and I think that that's awesome. Uh, and it's a soft rubber plastic that I'm, like, not really not worried about, like, tearing or anything, so I think that's great. Uh, a little bit of dark paint along the bottom of the hair, and then everything else is much lighter. even a little bit of paint here to show some skin from behind. Really looks good. Uh, articulation, if you're familiar with the Dragon Ball Figure Arts line, you're gonna be familiar with this. Like there's no, there's no secrets here. There's no like major changes in my opinion. Um, head will go all the way around, honestly. Uh, does not look very far up, uh, but will look very far down. And I thought it would be like the hair that's hindering the up, but it's really not. Like the hair is not even like touching. So it's just a, a relic of the neck being so like beefy, I guess. Um, <clears throat> not much of any kind of like diaphragm movement. I can't tell if there's like a separate diaphragm thing in there or not. But with the combination of whether or not there is a diaphragm and the waist joint here, we can get him bending over a decent amount, an okay amount. And then, let's see, like, even then, that's with his legs, or this is without his legs. So a decent amount of forward, decent amount of backwards, and then of course left and right is no problem at all. <clears throat> Arms, look for this double joint. Fantastic double joint, almost all the way up. That's so awesome. So good. We've got nice little ball joints here. Not really hindered by his wrist wrap at all. Really solid. Looks great. Um, a bicep swivel. And then like I mentioned, a little bit of a butterfly joint in the shoulder. It is a little hard to kind of get it going with the rubber pieces in there. To his legs. All the way up. All the way out to the side. 
no back, because, you know, he's got that butt piece. Some people uh, prefer, like, the, the, this solution, where there's, like, cuts, and it lets things go all the way around. Uh, but I've also seen that some people really hate that. So, uh, kind of up to you. I think that this looks better on Gohan. And I don't mind not being able to go all the way back. Like, I'm not going to have him kicking somebody from behind. It's just not going to happen. Goes all the way up. Awesome. Awesome. Full bend on that double jointed knee. Uh, and then foot goes decently back. A little bit forward. Got a little toe pivot. And pretty solid rocking, both left and right. Um, ankle rock is really important on the Dragon Ball line because you really do have characters getting into some low poses with this line. So the ankles really help. This guy is dynamic. You're going to be able to get him into like some cool poses, some cool fighting. Cool fighting poses. And honestly, he's just going to look good doing them. So, I mean, this is pretty par for the course for the Dragon Balls. To, uh... <clears throat> All right, getting into accessories. He does have three extra faces. The one is going to be, well, his default face that he comes with. It's just a very normal, serious, closed mouth face. You're going to have a cocky smirk. You're going to have a more angry, teeth gritted face. And then you are going to have an open mouth yelling face. And all you do for these is you just pull the hair off, pull the front layer off. Um, then you remove the face. You slide a new face in. It's always funny to me, like, how the Dragon Ball line has to, like, re-engineer heads every single time because the hair and... Like, they have to figure out, like, how to integrate removing the face with the hairline and everything else. <laughs> um, he does come with one additional face, but it's not really for this body, I don't believe. Uh, this is going to be an extra face for the regular Gohan from that movie. So if you have Gohan from that movie as well, um, he had a lot of extra parts that were spread across different releases. I think one uh, parts were released with Gamma A, or Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, as well as... Uh, one other figure, I think Pan. Um, so this is him kind of like mid-transformation because he's like, he's got his teeth gritted, but his eyes are also red. Additional accessories for the hands are going to include two, I want to call these like grabbing hands because they're open, but they have a little bit of a grab to them. But they're not really grabbing hands. Uh, two completely open palmed hands. Two martial arts fists. Or hands, open hands. And then one hand with two fingers extended. For uh, right before he casts Piccolo's special beam cannon. Or Makenko Sapo. And then he also has... A folded arms piece so if you wanted to you would just pop the arms off I'm just gonna do it with one for right now oh, why not? oh wrong side and then you would pop the other arm off and you can have him uh, with his arms folded And then the last thing that he does come with for accessories is uh, honestly like 
super important for the Dragon Ball line. It's very frustrating that so few of these <laughs> effect parts like come with characters or even exist. <coughs> 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 I've had to buy custom effect parts from like makers and from like other people in the community just to have some beam effects. And so this one is one of my favorites. Uh, it's Piccolo's special beam cannon or Makenko Sapo. And uh, it's what Gohan uses in the movie as uh, like his like final finishing attack. <clears throat> and it looks really good. It's all translucent plastic. The this does come off, but um, it's very heavy for him to actually like use and hold without the stand. So put the stand on, and then you just pop off one of his hands. Pop this on. And then you can have him doing especially in canon. looks really good would look awesome in a display as well the blast really does look awesome it's fantastic great accessory and i really really wish that bandai would include more stuff like this in the other uh, figures i do have another makenko sapo that goes with piccolo but i had to buy that from a third party like five or six years ago <laughs> and the guy like doesn't make them anymore so please 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 more beam effects <laughs> I would pull it out for this video, but it's in my closet. I'm waiting for new shelves to arrive, and then uh, I can pull out more of my Dragon Ball stuff. All right, now for a size comparison, let's go ahead and throw in Gohan's other dad, Piccolo, uh, from the same movie. Let's get him in there so that he actually wants to stand up. Piccolo is quite a bit taller, but um, a little bit frustrating. I think Piccolo should be like a lot taller, but oh well. Uh, this is a Mezco Power Ranger. SH, another SH figure arts, right in the same kind of size. This is going to be Shin Kamen Rider. One thousand toys, as well. Throw in a Figma. We can see she's not too small. She would uh, kind of fit in here, scale wise. And then uh, we'll throw in Oleg Thigar. Final thoughts on this guy. I think that this is a really great release. I think this is one of the better releases that we've gotten from Figure Arts in the last year or so. I do prefer when we get characters from them that have like different body types or more interesting than proportions than the like normal like gi on skin kind of look <laughs> for like a normal human or like a saiyan but uh, i think that there are a lot of improvements that they've made to that look or to that base style with this release and i definitely recommend picking them up if you're at all interested uh, especially with the blast effect you can't these things are worth their weight in gold man uh, as far as having a good dragon ball line or having a dragon ball line that has like effects and accessories you can't you can't pass up any figure that comes with a blast. <laughs> Otherwise, that's going to cover it for today. Check back for some more action figure toy reviews and news, and uh, you guys have a good one.